We're here at the National Fundraising Convention of the Institute of Fundraising and we're with Rupert Tappin, who's the Managing Director of Future Fundraising. Rupert, you recently announced the findings of the third annual DARS into donor retention. Can you ex explain some of the key findings for that, please? Sure. Well, this year's uh, DARS survey, the Donor Attrition and Retention Management Survey, took had 27 different charities take part, which was an increase in last year. But most importantly, we had over three quarters of a million uh, individual givers reported to us by charities, and effectively their payments, the actual monies that they got, and the, the number of payments, which is fantastic, which is triple we had last year and double the first year. So Morag and I are delighted on that, uh, about that. Uh, it's Morag from Quarios who are who are co co basically co-devised the survey with. Key findings were that uh, whilst attrition has climbed both on Doran Street from 2006 to 7 to 8, um, uh, in 2008 to, to 9, attrition has actually come down on the door fairly significantly, and it's also it's also beginning to come down on streets. Um, the impact of the recession has had an impact on regular giving, but what we're finding from the survey of findings from the charity's own payments is that actually uh, the, what, what the charities are doing in terms of enhanced stewardship, enhanced retention practices, uh, you know, from, uh, from, you know, from the welcome calling to the reactivation calling, to rolling reactivation calling, to upgrading, upgrading earlier between months six to 12 rather than waiting one to two years. Um, other techniques now that are being introduced, thank you calling at, month, at the payment three to four cycle, not necessarily asking for money, maybe asking for, you know, for, for others, sort of donor get donor type approach. There's lots of interesting stuff that's being done out there by the charity sector and it's having a really good effect on individual giving such that in 2009 we are forecasting that 2009 campaigns will have the best set of attrition figures from any campaigns run since 2006, certainly the ones that we've analysed. That's very encouraging. And you are planning to take DARS international, I hear. Indeed we are. More Fleming and I got invited to uh, by Daryl Upsill uh, to uh, Spain, to Madrid in March. And basically we, we talked to all of his clients. They, uh, they have a, a number of clients over, over in Spain doing face-to-face -face fundraising. And a lot of them, they're about sort of five years, um, they started face-to-face -face fundraising five years later than we did here in the UK. A lot of them are sort of looking at their attrition figures and asking questions about what, what can be done to actually improve them. So we got invited across by Daryl. Uh, and effectively all of the Spanish charities in the room that we presented to. We had about 15 charities there. Every single one of them wanted us to do a, a, a DARS for Spain. So what we're doing actually this year, we'll be announcing it in the next month or two's time, is an international DARS that is not only to Spanish charities, but will be open worldwide because we've had interest um, direct, directly expressed to Mick Aldridge of the PFRA from uh, uh, Australia, New Zealand, um, Canada and America as well. So we're going to have an international DARS released quite soon. And we hope to be releasing the findings of that um, towards, uh, towards the autumn time of this year. Rupert Tappin, thank you very much. Thank you.